Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayoko Beauty. You can call me Ashley or Ayoko, whichever one you prefer. And thank you for visiting or coming back to my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I just want to say that I really appreciate all the love that I got on my last video. It was my first video and I'm so appreciative of it. I didn't even really think it was going to see the light of day and YouTube's been pushing it and I got over 5,000 views and it's all because of you guys. So I really want to just take the time out to thank you guys for just watching my videos and commenting because it really lets me know that I'm doing something right. and. Yeah, I just have more content coming forward. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now. I'm telling you, you won't want to miss what I have coming up. I have so much content coming up for you guys. And I'm also open to um, accepting requests or what I, if I can do it, I'll do it. But if I can't, I can't. But yeah, I'm just really appreciative of you guys. And thank you guys again. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'm trying to com build a community. So today we're just going to get into this haul. This is just like um a, a transition spring because i live if you live in the midwest or you live in like colder areas i'm from the midwest but i live in toronto at the moment and it was just snowing a week or two ago so in, in the middle of april yes in the middle of april so we're not just hopping into our skirts and shorts and just sweaters we're having transitional people we're going slowly yeah that's toronto right now <laughs> we're back and forth so we kind of have like a toxic relationship with the weather so i just picked up a bunch of things that i could transition to and by the way everything in this haul is from fashion nova i know people really don't like fashion nova but they come with the heat and their prices are affordable and the quality of the clothes has definitely gone up because like i literally bought two things one from a few years ago and then the same item like maybe a few weeks ago and when I tell you the quality has changed for the better I have this denim button-up dress you'll see it in the video if I don't know the name well here's a tag so the name of this is the Cepha Life denim midi dress I love this but I got the wrong size I should have sized up if you've seen the clip it's so cute this is like if you could go to work in this if you even wanted to or this just over you going to brunch you could wear this to anything depending on how you dress it up and it's super stretchy but the thing is it does hug your body so i should have went up to a 3x because i am more bottom heavy if you've seen the bit in the clip it's kind of like squishing me in a little bit and i really didn't like that so i should have just sized up maybe i'll just give it away and buy a bigger size because like that's how much I like it. I look classy, I look elegant, but at the same time, I look relaxed. I look comfortable, it's just so comfortable. So yes, collar up and down, and you can unbun this. You can even wear this as like a long cardigan if you know like, if you are like resourceful and you know how to switch your things up, you know how to switch your garments up and put them, style them in different ways, you can definitely do that because it does button up all the way from the top to the bottom. You could just do so much with it and I really love the color of the denim. I love when dark denim is paired with this like cognac thread. It kind of gives you the opportunity to like style it. If you see in the video, like I paired it with this leather trench coat from um, Misguided. I don't really shop too much from Mrs. Gu from Misguided but that they definitely have some hit pieces i will link that even though this is a fashion overhaul i'll definitely link that for you guys it's like croc embossed croc embossed yes like don't you see how it matches like gorgeous it goes perfectly with it or if you don't even have to do a trench coat anything like that kind of matches that thread or that's in the same color palette it definitely like elevates your look so much for it. I don't know if you guys ever watch like girlfriends or like I remember just watching those TV shows and I always wish I could like dress like that. If you see like I also paired it with some Kanye boots, like some heel boots. My calves are too big for the boots. I just recently bought those boots, but they don't fit. But I do have another pair of boots that's similar in color, so I will be wearing that. 
But I don't know, I just look like a plus size baddie out of like girlfriends. The sitcom. I have this set, it is, um, if I don't have the name, I'll just put it on the thing. I think I ripped the tag off already. This is like a sweater vest set. It comes with matching shorts and a matching, um, a matching vest. It does not come with the uh, shirt that you see me pair with it. I thought it did when I came in. I was like, I was highly upset because I really thought it came with the shirt, but it doesn't. Maybe I didn't read or they just didn't specify it, but I really like this. This is super stretchy, so you can size down. I wish I would have sized down because I'm more bottom heavy than I am top. I have a smaller waist, a significantly smaller than my bottom waist, so I wish I could have sized down, but then maybe the bottoms would have been too loose. Sorry, I'm sorry, not too loose, too small. So I will definitely get this altered to, um, to snatch my waist in because this is like a preppy look, but I still want to look super fem feminine, if you get what I'm saying, with the shirt. Or if like my hair is pulled up back with the, like a, a matching headband, I feel like that would really give really cute vibes. If you see, I think I paired it with uh, like this fur a bag that I got from Zara. Matter of fact, stay tuned. I have an accessory haul coming up soon, very soon. If not that week, the following, depending on how fast I can edit. But yeah, I just paired it, and I also paired it with these boots that I got from Just Fab. I should be uploading these two videos around a day or two, so definitely stay tuned for that. I feel like the boots kind of like elevated the look. It made me look super youthful, but yet, put together but not kiddyish if you get what I'm saying so yeah that's all I really have to say for that and it is very stretchy that I have this set called the full night sweater pant set and it is this beautiful chartreuse olive color it's more off on the olivey type of side more deep and this is giving me like mommy duty vibes but you're still super put together because one thing about me is like I don't like not being put together, but I love being comfortable. I don't like being constricted. If you see, it's super stretchy. It is like a flare pant. You see how stretchy that is? Like you can even size down if you want to, but the thing, it clings to your body, so don't go too crazy with the sizing down. But it does flare out, it is long. I am 5'9", so if I say something is long, it's long. So if you're shorter than me, like you're gonna have to either get this tailored or however you want to do it but I had this all the way up to my waist so I you could definitely size down if you want and I just love the detailing of the cardigan that comes with it it's you know has like the brown buttons and then also has these pockets I wouldn't put anything in the pockets like look you know, it could be super flimsy. I don't really think they're functional pockets. I think they're just there for, you know, decor, if that's even the right term. But yeah, uh, this is just so super pretty. I just love how I feel in it. I will pair it with a fur bag that you've seen in the last clip. I was just paired with all neutrals. And with this, nothing but gold jewelry. I feel like silver wouldn't do it any justice gold jewelry will really pair with the undertones of the chartreuse color and yeah it's just a look you're just serving looks while being super comfortable like you somebody could be like where are you going like you were all dressed up you're like child i'm relaxed i'm just super put together like next what? i have this ruched dress in a khaki color i don't the name is not on here so it'll probably be in the screen per use but I just love this dress. The only the only con I would say I wish the arms were a little bit fitted because even though you can pull it, it doesn't it pulls from like the sleeve. It doesn't pull from the cuff and you I want the cuff to be more fitted. That's the only con about this. Um yeah, it's a little bit loose in the waist and tight, but I am bigger up top, so of course it will probably fit that way. And I would just wear this with the, you know, with the spring coming, we'll have like, you know, random days of super warmness. I'll wear this with like some heeled sandals, a neutral color bag, or if you even see me um, style it with my brown Gucci Marmont, my brown Gucci Marmont bag. And 
I just feel like it pops because this is such a, you know, this is such a basic color. It's very much a neutral color. So, yeah, girl. You, I just love the detailing. It. I always wanted a dress like this, and I could never find it. The only thing, that's the thing about plus size. What, with designers and like stores and retail stores, we're always late to the, we're always late to the party. Like I could be having something in mind, but no one will be selling it because of my size. So, yeah, girl. So next, I have this ribbed dress. I saw this on a fellow YouTuber. I think it's her name is Tamira. I think the Tamira Tamira. I, she is such a baddie, y'all. I think, yeah, her name is Tamira. She's a plus size um, influencer. She's just starting out like I am, but she's been around a little bit longer, obviously. She does like streetwear, but she, I just love the, I just love her style. So I saw this dress on her, and I'm like, I had to have it. She had her hair similar to this, and like, if you know me, this is like my signature style. I've been wearing this hairstyle for years, and I just feel like this dress goes so well with it. You can either pair it with heels, with boots. Like me personally, I would want a relaxed fit. I don't know why. That's just what I've been going for lately. So I will pair it with um, my what's the what sneakers would I pair with? Child, I'll put like a pop-up of the picture on the screen because I don't know all of a sudden now when I get on camera, that's when I have brain parts. Like I'm talking like I'm an airhead, but I'm not. So don't try it. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, this is super stretchy. The slit is very high and tall, so obviously it would be like higher on me, but that's not nothing you can't really take care of. You could just sew it up. I've done that pretty times because with Fashion Nova, with, with Fashion Nova, they always seem to put like a split somewhere. So I could just easily sew this up a little bit more. I, I wouldn't sew it all the way down, but just, you know, just to make it more modest because it's literally touching like my hip. So yeah but it's very comfortable once again the thing is i could size down but then it'll be too too tight and too loose up here but that's what alternate is for right but i really love how comfortable this dress is one thing about ribbed material you can't go down because it's so stretchy but if you are built like me you're bigger up top you're bigger down below than you are up top you are probably just gonna have to bite the bullet and leave it as it is on the waist sorry on the hip side and then get it altered in the hips what am i saying get it altered in the waist sorry y'all and this is the meant what i said sweater midi dress and it also comes in like a cream color too so gorgeous i just love the design they fashion over they really have been diversifying themselves because they were usually just bbl fashion and now they're just giving looks because one of the pieces i have in here i was so surprised that they even had it and i'm gonna go off with that i have this blazer called the getting entangled blazer when i met like y'all this blazer like just look at the detailing oh my goodness this reminds me of like elevated streetwear. Like you could dress it up so many, make it more on the streetwear casual side, or you could dress it up and be like on the edgy side, but you're still very dressed up, very poshed. It depends how you want to dress it up. Me personally, in this video is not how I would style it. I do have it with um, this jumpsuit. This jumpsuit with the um, and the cuffs of the pants are. Sorry y'all, the, me personally, I would not wear this with that jumpsuit. That's not the way I would st style it. Um, I would style it with like some Rick Owen sneakers. That's what I meant, Rick Owen sneakers. And that's how I would pair it with the last dress you just saw. I would pair it with some Rick Owen sneakers, like some, maybe like a bodysuit, but like a biker short bodysuit. And I will make it black just so that this blazer can stand on its own. Cause it, to me, this is like an elevated statement piece. Like I will have this in my closet for a long time. I don't care if it's on trend to other people, it's always gonna be on trend to me. And that's what matters when you're going shopping. You know, everybody doesn't have money to just keep on buying clothes. So 
if you're gonna go if you're gonna like listen to fads and uh, trends make sure it's something you see yourself wearing for a long time but if you got it like that honey child spend your money it don't matter. I'm just tracking I'm just here to give you advice so yeah what do I know I will pair with like my Prada sneaker bag matter of fact I think I'm gonna do a get ready and I'm, you're gonna see how I style this but I just love it it is a little bit snug but I size down to a 2x because the I know the 3x will fit so much oversized my arms are kind of big I am a you know I got them you know them arms when you go to the cookout they don't want to see nothing else if you ain't got arms like this you ain't cooking any food <laughs> so yeah so I just sized down it was a little bit tight like in the arms but nothing too comfortable I could still like stretch and move it so in the clip you see that I paired it with the love evolution sleeveless jumpsuit like I said, I don't really like the way this fit. Maybe because look, I've gained more weight in my stomach than anywhere else. So it's kind of like not allowing the jumpsuit to sit where it's supposed to. Cause honey child, let me tell you, a pregnancy belly, that's the hardest to go. That's the, that's the last thing to go is your belly when you're trying to lose weight. So, but I did get this in a 3X and I am pretty tall. If you're shorter than me, this is probably gonna fit on you maybe just right touching the floor me it's a little bit above but not in a way that it's like high waters are flooding but i mean it's just right i wish it was a little bit more baggier so the flare could be more prevalent but it's okay next i have this slinky sorry, silky smooth slinky maxi dress when i tell you like i love this material this fits so well on anybody's body it's so comfortable and it just like you could easily dress this up because of the material, but it's simple enough to just wear on a regular day. When I tell you this dress is so comfortable, like it's form fitting, but it's not tight. Even if it looks tight, you don't feel like it's tight. I am in love with this dress. I wish I could get this dress in like every color. The buttons, they button up all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. And I love the ruching. If you know, if you have a tummy like I do, it is very flattering for us because you know, you don't want anything to just be straight. That makes the belly look more protruded. You kind of want to just camouflage a little bit here and there. I just love this. This is so pretty. I love it with my skin tone. Like I see myself wearing this with like a highlighted wig just or just, but either way whatever i wear it's gonna look good on me because what well, i'm a black girl all colors look good on me honey but i just love the dress if i see it in every color i'm going to buy it. i have this a similar item this is the slinky i, if I like i said again if i don't see the if you don't see the name if you don't hear me say the name then it's going to be on the screen or in the link i'll put everything in order just so you guys don't get confused and i have this in a shirt form i also bought this in a purple shade i didn't try it on but i'll probably like um put a picture up of how the model was wearing it i bought this in purple too i don't know why i'm i don't know i'm just in love of green chartreuse green lime greens like just odd colored type of greens you're gonna see me wearing a lot of greens so I got this and it's ruched. It just, I love how the ruching is around your breast. It makes it look more voluptuous and like it lets it sit up, you know, depending on the type of bra you're wearing. Even if you aren't wearing the best bra, I just love how it just complements your breast. Child, it just, I don't know. I'm really into, obviously I gained weight, but now that I'm getting older and I'm a mommy, I just love how like you could be fully dressed but you still look so sexy like you just because you're fully dressed you have to be naked to feel sexy in your dress let me tell you that like you could be fully dressed and you look sexy as fuck and that's the crazy like mo that's what most men try to talk to me it's like when I'm fully dressed not showing not even showing an ounce of skin not even my collarbone honey because there's something about like the way clothes just like there's something about the way clothes just complement your silhouette. Trust me, honey. It looks really good. And I just love the way it looks on my skin tone. I will per, um, pair this with, um, I think I, in the video I paired it with like my fur bag. 
just for like that pop of texture. I don't know, I just feel like these days, even if it's in the summer, you're probably gonna see me wearing a fur bag. Stay tuned for my accessories haul. I'm telling you, super look, hella looks. I don't know if I wanna pair, child anyway, back to, the, back to the madam. I just love the way this looks. And then I paired it with these brown pants. When I tell you these are a staple, these are so stretchy, they're high waist. They are super stretchy, you could size up, I'm sorry, you could size down, but these are super high waist if you don't want it to be like all the way up, the size down, so it doesn't have to go all the way up if you get what I'm saying. And like, they're just so flattering. They have a zipper on the side. They have a zipper on the side, like you can make it skinny pants or you can make it flare pants and you can adjust it for how wide you want it, very flattering. And you probably see like my shorts peeking through, but the thing is it's thick but it's a thick so it doesn't show like every dimple and ripple i have this ribbed dress you know with these i would keep if you see a pattern with rib material and stuff like that they're warm material but they're not hot like you can wear them in transitional weather like it's very important because this is the type of weather it will this weather will trick you honey you will be thinking it's so nice outside it looks so warm and you come home like you're shivering you're cold and the next day you wake up with the sniffles because why you thought it was cold you thought it was hot you thought it was nice and it's cold honey you're sick now and now you gotta stay where you at because everybody gonna think you got covid am i right or am i wrong let me know so yeah this is a ribbed dress i just love the color it you would think it's all cream but it's pink and cream with like the pink in the, I don't know if you see it. It's pink and cream. I paired it with these boots. I just think it looks so cute. I just love how like the cream boots elevate the look. It kind of gives me like this youthful, I don't know, just adding a touch of like white or cream boots to your outfit, it just elevates it. I wore this to work. I was getting so many compliments on this dress because it's form fitting. I would say get your size. You could size down, but I got my size because it's so stretchy. Y'all know how the rib is. Super stretchy. And it is collar. I've been loving just, I've been loving anything with the collar, honey. Collar shirts, collar dresses, collar bodysuits. If it got a collar on it, nine times out of ten, I'm going to buy it. And it just looks so good on the body. And I just noticed how like stripes, I don't know, if, is it horizontal? Horizontal or vertical? Either way, the ones that, the stripes that go down, those stripes will make you look slimmer. Don't judge me. <laughs> but they like stripes that go up and down, they are prone to make the body look more slimmer. I have this jacket. It's called the Spring Vibes Faux Leather Motor Jacket. And right, right on trend, Spring Vibes. I love the color. You know it's spring. You can, like you can't be like jumping the gun. You need some outerwear, honey. Nothing that's gonna be like too warm or nothing that's gonna leave you hella cold. And this color, this mint green color is just so light, so airy. And this color, I don't know, I just compliments, I love the gold detailing of it like i just love it this i got this in a size 2x because those jackets kind of fit big on me because obviously if i'm smaller up top you want something you don't want anything because ladies you need to learn your body the thing about being plus size you have to make sure that your items fit you correctly because we already have this negative connotation that we're sloppy, we're messy, but things have to like, you really have to know what goes well with your body type, whether you're bigger up top or smaller up top. It just makes, I don't know, when you just pay attention to what size to go up or down in, it just helps with making you look more polished. And that's what I did, I went to a size 2X because I'm already bigger than the bottom, so if I get something up top to match it, I'm gonna look frumpy and just out of shape. And so being wearing it in a size 2X kind of brings it together and gives you a nice. I also paired it with this Haley double line sleeveless jumpsuit. 
I would just be careful. This is a thick material, but just be careful of what kind of shapewear, if you wear any shapewear with this bodysuit, because it will show the lines and the crooks and nannies will show. I will wear like a panty bodysuit. I didn't in the video, but if I was to go out with it, I would wear that. I just love how it goes all the way to your neck, and I feel the the neutral color complements the the neutral color complements the mint color that I paired it with and it's just like a very skin neutral I would pair this with like a neutral bag or even a white bag you don't want to add too much to it because it's just giving you cool tone vibes so you don't want to go in the opposite direction and pair it with things that kind of will kind of throw the outfit off so next I have this self-control sweater is in this beautiful I forgot the name. It's really like a lavenderish color, but it's like this color that's in season at the moment. I think it starts with the S. I'll put it up on the screen. And this is like the perfect way to introduce yourself into spring with color. If you don't want to invest too much in colors, like it's a sweater. It's cute to add. Usually when you get sweaters, you get different unique colors or different patterns. So that would be the perfect way to introduce it into your wardrobe for the spring and the early early spring you guys if i look like i'm lost in space sorry my daughter oh, yeah. was sleeping at the time i was yeah, trying to make sure i didn't wake her up my bad so i paired this with the killing me softly jeans i got this the jeans in a size 20 and i also got it in regular they have long and they have regular so yeah I just love the way it looks. I love the cutout. I wore some shapewear. I had a bodysuit shaper on, but I was too lazy to take it off, so I kind of just tucked it. So if you see it in the clip, excuse it. And I just think it's so cute with the cutout. I'll wear it with some high waist pants. It doesn't necessarily have to be jeans. It could be like, it, I think it would go really cute with like khaki pants, like different or different cargo type of pants. Cargo pants is definitely coming into season for the spring and summer. So that would be a cute way to pair it as well. And I paired it with like um, a matching like fur bag. Those are really in style as well. Or I would do like a pop of color, like I feel like orange, like just to, you know, be a little crazy and spontaneous and just have that nice contrast color going yeah that's it you guys i know probably this time i'm less long-winded i'm just trying to get straight to the point and i just really appreciate you guys for watching if you've made it this far and you haven't liked the subscribe like comment subscribe i do message back i do talk back anything you want me to review i'll try my best to get it i do live in canada but if i go back to the u.s maybe i'll probably pick some stuff up but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video and turn your notifications on.